I saw this question on YouTube. I would like to show a uh, different way of doing it. Now, it's not an easy limit. It looks quite complicated. Now, I start with uh, the Euler's uh, formula. That is uh, the sigma the cosine kx plus i sigma sine x, right? Uh, k from 1 to n, k from 1 to n is equal to sigma k from 1 to n e to the i k x, isn't it? Yeah. That's correct. Now, this one is equal to, uh, this is a geometric series. So this could be equal to 1 minus e to the i x, that's common ratio, and e to the minus e to the i x times 1 minus e to the n i x. Right. Good. All right, and then uh, uh, I multiply e to the negative i x you know, just to simplify. So this one is equal to uh, this will be e to the negative i x minus one. On top will be one minus e to the n i x. Yeah. Then uh, I use uh, Euler's formula again. This will be this will be e cosine x, right? A negative x for cosine is the same. And uh, minus one. This is the real part. And minus i sine x. On top will be the same, 1 minus cosine nx, that's the real part, minus i sine nx. Very good. Now then, i times the conjugate of the denominator, right? Wow, this is uh, quite long. This is uh, x cosine minus 1 minus i sine nx. Not nx, uh, cosine sin sine x. Sorry, sine n. And this one times the conjugate. The conjugate will be cosine x minus 1 plus i sine x, right? Times the conjugate. And uh, the, uh, the numerator will, will do the same. 1 minus cosine nx minus sine nx all together times the conjugate of x cosine x minus 1 plus, no, plus, here yeah, plus i sine x. Good. I have to work very, very carefully because uh, it's just very easy to make uh, an error. And then this will be equal to. Now, uh, we are interested in this. We are interested in this one, right? That is uh, 
develop the summation like this. So we just interested the imaginary part. So in other words, the left hand side, the summation of a sign x k. Yeah? Sorry, I'm, I forget a k. Sorry, sign k x. I'm sorry, this is a series. K x k from one to n. Right? I'm interested in the imaginary part. That is this one, not that one. So this one is equal to. Now the denominator will be this is square minus that is square. That is easy. This is cosine x minus 1 square, i squared is a negative 1, so it's a plus sine square x, okay? That's the denominator. Now the numerator, only, only for the imaginary part. So this will turn this one I want, this one time that one I want. So that would be... 1 minus cosine nx. Must be very careful, okay? Yeah, e very easy to make a mistake. This one time this one is uh, imaginary. And uh, this one time this one is uh, imaginary. So I switch these two. Switch these two becomes a positive, uh, negative, right? So it overall become positive. Uh, sine and x time this being switched one minus cosine x. Good. All right. Now this one is equal to that. Then uh, I do numerator uh, denominator first. The denominator. <laughs> Will be cosine square plus one plus sine square is two. So the midterm is minus two cosine. So this becomes a two one minus cosine x. Correct. Okay. This plus one is a is a two. Yeah. Good. Now. The numerator, well, we have a formula, 2 sine uh, half alpha square is equal to 1 minus uh, cosine alpha, isn't it? That's the basic formula for the double angle. Is that correct? Yes, this is correct. Now then uh, I'm using this formula for this. 1 minus cosine nx. So this will be equal to 2 sine square half nx. That is this, by using this formula. And uh, times, uh, this one is uh, 2 sine half x, cosine half x. That is for this. And uh, plus, this could be using double angle formula. This is a 2 sine half nx times cosine half nx. And this, I use the formula again. This is equal to 2, right, sine square half x. Wow. What a 
delicate work. <laughs> now then, then I try to simplify, right? Um, this one, I use the formula, half angle formula. That would be four sine here. Yeah. Four sine square half x, isn't it? Yes. I'm using this formula. Now here, four is a common factor. So I take four out. Well, what are in common? Sine half x is common. Sine uh, half x is common. This is common, right? Uh, sine half nx is common. This is common. This is common, yeah. And the leftover is a. Uh, the leftover is a sine half nx cosine half x. Yes, plus sine half x. See, another one, because uh, there's a square, right? So one is taking out, and it times cosine half nx. Wow. Then <laughs> four, four cancel out. Right, sine sine cancel out. Left over sine half x. Yeah, this is sine half n x. This is the summation of a some sum of a two angles for sine. Right, this is equal to sine uh, half n x plus half x. That is this. If you look carefully, you know that's a sum of two angles. So we continue from here. Let me write it nicely. So this is a good, this means the sum of a sine kx, k from 1 to n, is equal to this. Uh, yeah, let me write nicely. This is sine half x. This is sine half nx. This one is a sine, I can combine, right? Half n plus 1 x. Wow. OK. Now, what happens if I replace x by 1 of n square? This is a k, right? This is n, sine k, 1 over n square. That is, that, what is, that is what we have from beginning, see? So that will be equal to, you replace x by 1 over n square. So this will be sine. Uh, two n square. Huh? If you replace x by one over n square, this will be uh, sine two n square n, isn't it? Multiply uh, sine. 2n square n plus 
Wow. What a what a result. And also we know that we know that uh, the limit well, limit uh, alpha goes to zero sine alpha and alpha is equal to one, isn't it? So which means that the limit alpha goes to zero over for sine alpha and the limit alpha goes to zero for us. These are equivalent. See, these limits are equivalent when alpha is very small. Therefore, when when you take a limit, n goes to infinity. When you take a limit, see, that's the, that's the limit from, when n go to infinity, this will go to zero. This will go to zero. This will go to zero. Therefore, they can replace by n over this, n over that, this is what you see. So in other word, let me write in another line. Take limit n goes to infinity, summation of a sign, no k, yeah? sorry. Always have a little, <laughs> one over n squared, okay? No k. Well, K can be written here. Um, I'm sorry, there's a K to N. All right, okay, it looks like this. So this limit, when this goes to zero, I can simply write the, the number, see? This one is called the limit. N goes to infinity, sine 1 over 2N square, sine N over 2N square, multiple of a sine N plus 1 2N square. So that limit could be using this property. So this one is equal to the limit. N goes to infinity. Uh, simply means a one over two n square. Huh? This is n over two n square times two n square and n plus one. See, okay, using them, using this. Then this one is equal to uh, the, the limit. N goes to infinity. To n cancels out, right? Yeah. This becomes a two n square n and a one n square. Yeah. Because this is cancel with that. So this is simply means a one half. Yeah. So this is our limit. This is our limit for this one in the, in the beginning, for that one. Wow, I think this is a, a nice way approach. Thank you.